Hi there, it's uh, John Mansell, uh, Exposan, I hope you're well. Um, I haven't actually done a vlog for just over three months, uh, for various reasons. Um, one, I, look, it doesn't matter what the reasons are, it's, 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 it is what it is. Um, there's a possibility uh, you may see a slightly different side to me um, in this vlog. Um, and, and, it, and it's because I want to talk about sort of spiritualism and, and, and alternatives and then I'll say alternative medicine, but you know, other things that we can do to give us a chance with our mental illness, addiction and associated issues. Um, I have alluded to this a, a couple of times before in vlogs. Um, and I just think, I don't know this, I don't know why, but it feels like today, I, this is the day that I'll, I need to say what I'm about to say. And, and in my vlogs, you'll have seen, and in my blogs, and, and if you've met me personally, you will have probably heard me use the phrase that, you know, I'm a, I'm a through and through Neanderthal. And, and, you know, if I hadn't had mental health issues, addiction, associated issues, anxiety, all that sort of stuff, I would be one of these idiots that says, pull yourself together, be a man, strap on a pet, and all that sort of stuff. But it has happened to me, and, 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 it, and it... I still... can't um, handle it, you know, 100% uh, of every day. Having said that, um, and this is where this thing... I'm going to read something out in a bit. Um, Long story short, uh, after I had the mental breakdown, I uh, spent many years doing lots and lots of meetings, this, that and the other, meeting people face to face, meeting people online, going to CCG, NHS, police, uh, healthcare, counsellors, ones went to the parliament, um, trying to be the voice, and I hate to say it like this, but this is what people have said, trying to be the voice of people who haven't got a voice, and as you know, I've got a voice. Um, I've come to terms with being called an advocate, an activist. I sort of understand what that means now, so that's cool. But you all know, enjoy the good and ride out the bad is my motto. And um, I've been in a, a relatively good place for quite a few weeks now. And the strange thing is, is, is that. I know at times I've been heightened, or that's my word for manic, and I've sat there preparing for a crash, and, and touch wood, the, the, the crash hasn't come yet. And I think that's in part to do with silly little things like my phrases that I use all the time. Um, it is what it is, shit happens, uh, you know, those sort of things. But also in part, I think it's to do with a person called, I can never get his name right, a person called Sadguru, S-A-D-H-G-U-R-U. Apparently his name is Jaggi Vasudev. And in one of the, the things that uh, the, the, the person who introduced me to sort of more spiritual stuff, meditation, yoga, I'm shit at both of those, I can only do them if they're led. But the, it's interesting because a lot of what people say within these spiritual um, vlogs and blogs really does cross over from stuff I've said over the years. Um, I think there's a fine line and, and a lot of you will know that I've got on me tattooed down underneath my uh, left man boob, I've got three dates, 1973, 2003 and 2013. These are what I call my birth dates. And 1973 when I was born, I don't know, it makes me 48, it's unbelievable really, isn't it? Um, 2003 was when I was reborn, and those of you who know me, I'm not into God or anything like that, but I was reborn because I, I went into Woodbourne Priory and got sober, 
and I've been sober ever since. Um, and then 2013, I was reborn again uh, when I had my mental breakdown. And, and the usual reaction to that is, oh, positive, positive, oh, uh, oh, it's such a shame and all that sort of stuff. But the weird thing is, with, with a bit of spiritualism, without spiritualism, I said prior to having that sort of side of things, um, it's not... It's not a negative thing, 2013. If anything, it's the best thing that ever happened to me, having the mental breakdown in 2013, because it it, it, it it made me stop and really look at what I needed to do to survive in this world with mental illness, uh, bipolar, borderline personality disorder, just, just the things that, that, that we go through. And... Um, now I know a little bit more about spiritualism, uh, and I know very little, I promise. Um, me saying that that was the best thing that could have happened to me because it allowed me to actually wake up and, 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 and look at my life and look how I was going to deal with it. Obviously, I haven't worked since my mental breakdown for, for my own sanity and, and to keep my, my health. And, and, and I know myself very, very well. I spent an awful lot of time, an awful lot of effort um, working on myself and, and knowing what I can and can't do. I pick my battles. Uh, I accept things. That, that there's, uh, I've written a couple of books, the, the last one being the A to Z Guide of Navigating Mental Illness, Addiction and Associated Issues. I understand myself and know how to deal with myself. But now that... 2013 date now I know a little bit more about spiritualism I, I see it as my awakening um, I know told you a different side of it but and this is this is going to coincide with I will do one later on in the, in the month uh, it being the 1st of December uh, Christmas is coming I'm already hacked off with it uh, decorations here, tunes there. I even did my own little crappy little tree last night and wrapped up a, a present from me to me uh, prior to December. Um, as I've said before many times with the Christmas ones, it is one day, and and please, please, please don't don't skint yourself out to to make it special if anything if we've been taught anything over the last couple of years with covid it's not about things it's about people and 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 you know putting yourself in debt to to buy the nicest thing here and the latest thing there is it's just going to cause you pain in the end it's 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 about you and your family connecting it's not about what you buy them or how much you spend on them Anyway, so there's a fear. There's a, for, for me and for a lot of people, there's a fear of, of, of how we're going to suffer over the build-up to and the Christmas period. And this is why I wanted to do this today on the 1st of December. Because this is one of the things I got from Sadguru, Sadguru's uh, talks. Um, and, it's, and it's this. Uh, once there is no fear of suffering... Only and only when there is no fear of suffering will you walk full stride in your life. Otherwise, it's always a half a step. In our lives, if we do not do what we cannot do, there's no problem. But if we do not do what we can do, we are a disaster. As long as the fear of suffering is there, this disaster is there all the time. Humanity has been crippled with a fear of suffering. And again, I just think that's amazing and, and, and I hope you listen back to it. And, and, and just to end, there might be a lot of people of you out there thinking I'm uh, really struggling, I don't want to be here anymore, I can't take this anymore, I'm just not strong enough, blah, 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 all those sort of things, the things that I've thought over the years and still think from time to time. At least... I've seen at least five or six people over the last few months post or comment on social media things that I never thought I'd see them say. These are people I've known for many years and were beaten, you know, uh, by their mental illness or their addiction or whatever. 
But, like I have said many, many times, they keep going because they're, they're warriors. And if you keep going, you keep going back to the doctors, keep asking questions, go to your counselling, do your, your, your meditation, do your yoga, try a bit of Reiki, uh, definitely go to the gym, that makes a hell of a difference for me. Until you've tried everything, you cannot know whether you can beat it. And I can tell you now, you can beat it without a shadow of a doubt. Say five or six people I've seen post over the last few months that I never thought I'd see them post stuff like that. And they're doing it. And these are people that only a year ago, six months ago, nine months ago, were beaten uh, in their minds. But they kept fighting, they kept going. They never gave up. And, 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 and that's the message that I keep going with. Never give up, keep going, keep fighting. Um, you will, you can beat it, even if you don't think so now. And I'm just going to end quickly. I wanted to keep this under 10 minutes, but I've gone past 11. So, but you know, if 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 you are interested in uh, finding out a little bit more about spiritualism and meditation and yoga, again, I keep saying these two, but I don't, I'm crap at them. Um, I can do it when I'm led, but apart from that, I don't do it. But it's just that being in the moment. Um, and I've had that in my mind way before spiritualism, but it is that being in, a mo being in the moment, w dealing with what you can deal with now, not worrying about what's gone, not worrying about what's coming forward. Uh, and you know, it, 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 don't suffer from fear because fear holds you back. And realistically, there's only one thing in life that can hold you back and that's you. Um, I know that's the case for me and I'm sure it's the case for many of you. So I'm going to stop there. Um, look into it. Uh, Sad Guru, S-A-D-H-G-U-R-U. Um, he's amazing. Some of the stuff, some of it's quite funny as well. Um, uh, maybe, who knows, next time you see me, maybe I'll be wearing robes like him. But, you know, this it, is a different, slightly different side to me with regard to talking about spiritualism. Uh, even though I'm a Neanderthal, and uh, you know there, there is something there. There's Reiki is amazing, and 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 just that sort of being in the moments and concentrating on 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 nothing, it, it can really really help you. Um, there will be a Christmas message coming up soon. Don't let it get you down. Don't let the bastards grind you down. It, 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 Think about it as it being part of you and your family and, and don't let it put pressure on you. Don't skint yourself out. Just be and, and try and enjoy it if you possibly can. Right, um, my motto as always, enjoy the good and ride out the bad and uh, I'll catch you guys soon. Bye.